What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Shane Rowe. Guys, grab me all this coffee. This is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get caffeinated. First and foremost, I want to say congratulations to Real Madrid for winning the Champions League. But the truth is, I don't really care too much about Real Madrid winning the Champions League. I cared more about Sancho not winning this thing. What did he say? Listen, I'm not one to be bashing United players. So I'm not trying to bash any United players, but I'm scrolling through Twitter and go follow your boy on Twitter. The, the community over there is massive and, and it's only getting bigger. And it's actually where you get to have a pulse and feel what United fans are actually thinking. And guys, you know as well as I do that this is all media hype, right? But I'm over there scrolling on Twitter and shout out to MUFC MPD. Go give them a follow over there. They are a really good account. And news comes out from John Cross from The Mirror. Now, I'm not telling you that The Mirror is like the best of sources, but these media personnel just keep coming out with these stories. Now, is it true or not? But Jordan Sancho is ready to come back to United if Ten Hag leaves. Listen, I'm not going to tell you that he said any of this. And I'm going to play you a clip and show you why I'm not telling you that he did say this. Here's a clip from Jose talking about Ten Hag and the Jordan Sancho episode, right? I'm going to play for a little bit, let you guys watch it. You can come back and tell me what you think he said. Then I'll show you these headlines of what they actually wrote about what Jose said. The kid made mistakes, but for sure also his manager was not able to get the best out of it. Would you say he was failed at Manchester United then? Of course he failed, because he was not playing, because no, he was... Do you think he was failed? What do you mean by, sorry, my by, English? By, by his environment, by, by the way he was managed, by the way that he was supported. Normally he's multifactorial, you know, normally he's not the manager, the player, uh, the family, the agent, the club, normally he's multifactorial, but looking at myself as, as a coach, I, I did many, many times get the best out of young players and help them to be what they were in the future. Other times I failed. And for sure, uh, even being multifactorial, we are part of it. And this for us as coaches with more experience, with, uh, with many situations of deja vu when we, we get older, to try to help the young players to go in the right direction. Now guys, you just seen the clip. This is what they put all over the newspapers that, that Jose said that it was Ten Hag's fault with Jordan Sancho and all this other stuff. So I'm not going to tell you that Jordan said this. What I am going to tell you is that, guys, there is a open agenda. There is a onslaught the media to rail United. Sir Jim and Ineos must have a project plan for this club. And I'm going to, this has to be it, man, because there's also Mark Odin. I'm calling you out, buddy, from, from ESPN FC. He goes on ESPN FC and he's talking, listen, I'm not going to play it. You guys can go look at it. I'll show you the screenshot of the, of the article, but go check it out. And you come back and you let me know. You comment down below and tell me if this guy, this is why Fergie banned them and i didn't realize that he was one of them until somebody mentioned it on, on on twitter you see i'm telling you you gotta be over there man this is where we get all our true proper up-to-date on-time information guys so go over here go over to twitter give you give your boy a follow but he goes on this rant about jordan sancho being abandoned for three months abandoned for three months if i remember correctly Ten Hag put his arm around Jordan Sancho and told him, listen, you're not ready mentally, especially after he has admitted that he wasn't ready or he hasn't really fully recovered from the Euros or the World Cup it was. And he came back to United not ready. And, and Ten Hag took, put his arm around him and said, go get a break. What he's going to do? Go, go, to the, go on, on vacation with him for three months. He's got to run a club. And he comes back. He slowly introduces him into the team. And then he says, listen, he isn't ready. On football and reasons, we didn't pick him. Jordan Sancho goes and says all this stuff. This, this is not how you do it. Congratulations. You played yourself. This is not how you, you do it. There was only one head. 
So you, you, I'm not telling you to apologize directly and say, oh, this is this, this is this. But guys, you cannot try and undermine the manager for, for a half of a year. On top of it, Jordan Sancho, you sat down and you watched your team struggle. You watched, you watch Rashford struggle. You watch Mano struggle. You watch Garnacho struggle and you did nothing. Am I my brother's keeper? Then you took a plane and went to Dortmund and you thought the grass was greener. My guy, the grass is green where you water it, okay? And then on top of it, listen, I congratulated Real Madrid on, on winning the Champions League. And yeah, you're saying, then why are you having a pop at Dortmund? Dortmund fans, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Like the wall, I wish we did that kind of thing at, at United or could get away with it. But the club are taking shots. Either you're taking shots at the manager or you're taking shots at the fans or you're taking shots at the club. Now, maybe some of it is warranted, but as a professional football club and you are loaning out our player, you don't go on Twitter with your account and say, oh, we were always familiar with your game. Some people owe you an apology. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Like, number one, we loaned you that player. How disrespectful can you get, right? Because you know as well as I do that the only people that were criticizing Jordan Sancho was the United fans and uh, our our side of football, right? And they have used this to push this narrative that Jordan Sancho was some elite footballer that was saving them and, and going to rescue them in the Champions League final. Guys, these are the stats. Jordan Sancho hasn't performed when he went to Dortmund. He had a few games where he did a, a couple of tricks and flicks. And he scored a 1-2 goal and he provided an assist. He wasn't no baller over there. He wasn't popping in hat tricks, okay? I don't think, even if he started for us on the right wing or the left wing, I don't think he'd have been better than Ganache this season. Drink the coffee. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. I'm the stay staying caffeinated, telling you the truth. I, I think he's a better footballer than him. So if you're asking me, do we sell Jordan Sancho when he comes back? Put him on the next, put him on the next plane back to Dortmund and they can deal with him. Bye, bitch. They can deal with him because the, the disrespect that he has shown not only to the, to the club, but to the fans of the club. There is no way Jordan Sancho wasn't going to come back home and, and, and flashing his Champions League medal to every person he could, he, he could show. And not because he wouldn't be merited in, in, in being excited about winning, but it, it'll be on some more low life kind of, kind of move. And, and I don't respect that. So if Jordan Sancho is saying, Oh, if he comes back, he wants Ten Hag to leave. You let me know what you think down in the comments. And, but this is one player. I'm fine. We can, we can do without the bad apple spoils the bunch guys. You know this as well as I do. We don't need Jordan Sancho. And like I said, I know as well as you guys do that this is a media onslaught to try and get Ten Hag to lose his job. Now, with the fact that there has not been any news as of right now, hope things can literally be changing by the time you see this video. But, you know, Barada and I think Jean-Claude, they like him, so hopefully they can talk some sense into them and we don't know like the laughing stock of, of Europe for just doing the dumbest thing that we shouldn't be doing. Listen, Tag isn't the best manager. It's his first major, major club and he's brought us two trophies in two years and three finals. We took and, and, and took revenge against last year's defeat. That boy is good. Mm -hmm. Good and terrible. Guys, don't be fooled. Stay strong, but I know you are because listen, like I, I want to amplify our voice, your voice, right? So if you go on Twitter, you see that anyone, everyone is 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 supporting the manager. You got UF saying, I generally cannot blame Man United fans for laughing at Dor for laughing at Dorman and Sancho after their Champions League defeat. I mean, just look at this post from their official account. I'm all for football banter, but this was completely unnecessary. It was disrespectful.
disrespectful. It wasn't unnecessary, UF. It was disrespectful. Let's call it what it is. This fan says, the English media, Owen, shout out to you. He says, the English media are really nasty. You listen to the interviews and Jose Mourinho gives a balanced, nuanced answer saying there are multiple factors to consider why it didn't work out for Jordan Sancho at MUFC. The media the next day, Mourinho blames Eric Ten Hag. The agenda continue, my guys. The agenda continues. I've also had another post where they said, uh, shout out to UF, John Cross reporting that Sancho wants to return to United, to United only if Ten Hag leaves. This is the, the story we were talking about earlier. Disrespected the badge and fans by sitting at home for six months and refusing to play despite the club struggling and the fans and the fans paying his 300 300k a week. I forgot about that. 300k a week wages, but some United fans still back him. I don't think some United fans back him. I think those fans are wolves in sheep's clothing and they are here for the chaos. They have chose violence and they want to see the whole thing burn. I don't want peace. I want problems always. Stay strong, guys. This fan says, in response to this article about Sancho ready to come back. In other words, entitled man refused to go back to work because the boss is demanding high standards from him. Couldn't have said it better myself. Listen, there's a photo going around, and I'm going to put it up. The finals. And then I'll put up the Man City photo as well, too, of the starting 11. Within that starting 11, I don't care how much a team really cost. Within that starting 11, there were May Scott McTominay, Rashford, and Alejandro Granacho. Four academy players. Four started for United in the FA Cup final. Two of them had their debut this season and have been balling ever since. Guys, Ten Hag is building a squad. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the mainstream media. Don't be fooled by some of the mistakes that he has made. Every, every manager makes mistakes and every manager needs the proper environment for them to thrive. Perfect example is Carlos and Mr. Champions League himself. This guy looked like he was washed up washed up in, in uh, at Everton. But now we know why. Because Everton did, weren't, didn't have a structure that was conducive to winning, winning games, winning leagues, winning trophies. You know, Manchester United is not a place conducive to that. And we're still, he, this man is still digging out trophy wins. Considering the fact that we, ha we finished eighth in the league. Come on, guys. I mean, you know, it, it, in... In reality, if you think about it, we won the sixth most important trophy across the top five leagues. So considering that each league, their trophy of the competition is a top trophy, then the next one would be their, F their FA Cup Association trophy. We've won the number six. Tell me what you think. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Ooh. But guys, listen, support the manager. I am fully behind pause the manager getting another a shot at, at at this team and and building something don't let the media hype sway you but like i said i know you guys are smart and we haven't so far so keep that pressure on keep retweeting the other fans retweet keep following each other keep keep following like like the video so this can reach out to other manchester united fans and they can 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 know what the plan is we, we, we stick with the plan. Trust the process, guys. Right? Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And GGMU. Peace.